Dutchman. I'm Mr. Bamba Man, I be the blowing Dutchman. Yeah, shuffle on the production. Like this, yeah. Boom, Friday flow. Now today we're gonna to do the front 300. This is a pretty cool move. It happens only in the front corridor and I'm gonna do it today with the quad maze, the on it quad maze, which is a little bit longer than regular maces. So what's important to understand is that whenever we're swinging in front, most of the times with a maze you cannot fully straighten the arms unless, um, well, unless you're above two meters. So that's why I took a longer mace because I'm quite tall. So you can actually see an example of how to do a front swing properly. Enjoy. So for the front 300, we don't really have to pick up the mace to that center position in the middle like we would do with a 360. What I want you to do here is just pick up your mace with hand palms facing away from you. So that's kind of a compromised position and you have to have enough room in your uh, supination in your forearm to actually get here comfortably while keeping the lats activated okay now if you can do that just try to pick it up so you have a relaxed um, trapezius so you shouldn't go up like this you should go up with your biceps so you should have a bend in your upper arms from here you're gonna make momentum create momentum just let that mace move from left to right now as you increase that momentum, the mace comes up higher, you can start to initiate that 300, which is done by coming back to that position here. So usually 300 goes around and ends with the handle in front and the globe away, so facing the back. This is because we have to change from front to back corridor. For now, what we're going to do is stay in the front corridor. So you're only going to push towards the hip and then dropping again so what you can do at first is landing it against the shoulder and swinging it landing it against the shoulder swinging it and landing it against the shoulder and eventually you can do it more freely in which you basically pull towards the opposite hip make sure that it is in balance that you have that max. 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock 300 degrees movement and you rotate and get full power. This is a great move for your biceps as a variation on the backswing which is more dominant for the triceps. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to know more about the maze, I recently made a introduction course to maze flow for strongandfit.com. You can find it over there. It's an amazing course, six weeks of training, drilling, to really make sure that you've got the basics and the fundamentals right for you to grow into your next progression with the mace. Awesome. Well, see you in the next Friday Flow. Boom. Thank you for your attention. It's greatly appreciated. If you like the content, please consider to share, like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see similar videos, you can see them over here. If you're interested in learning more from me as a coach, I've got online courses on dodgeflowacademy.com. Keep flowing, Ram Ram.